And while some flew their flags today, others chose to head to one of our many open spaces to enjoy the outdoors for the long weekend. Tamara Lopez joins us from the Bosque in Albuquerque now. So Tamara, you spotted plenty of people enjoying the sunshine today. Oh yeah, Julie. So we spent all afternoon at Siphon Beach in Corrales where we saw people lining up to launch their kayaks or canoes into the river, but not before doing so safely. There was actually several law enforcement agencies that have been out patrolling all day to make sure that your float down the river doesn't turn into a rescue mission. It's so nice to just be on the river, then you don't, you're not in charge of anything. You just let the river take you. Kelly Marquez and her friends spent their Memorial Day wanting to paddle board down the Rio Grande. Spending time with friends, definitely. Also relaxing, it's really, really chill on the river. And it's like a new part of Albuquerque in a way because it's not quite as loud and crazy. And several agencies were out at Siphon Beach making sure groups were staying safe while they hit the water. Apparently there's a big safety guard here and I respect it clearly. I'm gonna put on my life vest and I'm gonna have a great time. Every agency we spoke to today says people need to wear life jackets in the water. The Bernalillo County Fire Department has its airboat crew patrolling on the water too. And we caught the crew in action, helping some paddle boarders Monday. Some people launched from uh, Siphon Beach here and we're going down river with the current and kind of fell off their uh, paddle board and looked and saw a tree, which is we a uh, hazard in the river that's a strainer. Lieutenant Lane says trees and branches can snag you if you're not careful. The trees in the river will catch on to your life jacket and pull you under, and that's where most of our fatalities happen. All the agencies work together to patrol up and down the river, and they say they don't want to stop the fun. They just want to keep you safe. Safety first, always safety first. So all the agencies we spoke to today also said that you really should have a float plan in place before you even get in the water. That's as easy as planning out where you're gonna be launching from and where you expect to end up and tell somebody that and how long you expect to be in the water as well. And they also say it's a very good idea to have your cell phone on you or some way of contacting people in case of an emergency. And again, they say you really need to wear that life vest, not just for your own safety, but because it's the law. Back to you.